Hey there guys. Today I'm going to be working on a little bit of a back burner project that I originally mentioned doing about 18 months ago when I was building this Ron Polk inspired workbench. In the build I had talked about eventually putting a little flip out table on one end of the workbench so that I could place a compact contractor table saw and use the workbench as an outfeed table. Well, being as I have a table saw that already has a stand, I've just used it like that, but recently Ryobi sent me their new brushless compact table saw that is very compact. It runs on their 18 plus batteries and I figure what a perfect project for it. And I do know that these table saws are very popular amongst homeowners as well as contractors because they're so compact and portable and uh, great for apartments, homes, whatever. And uh, perhaps this will be a useful video in case you have a similar circumstance where you have tight spaces and you can't have a big cabinet table saw. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Make this little table and see what I can come up with. Um, but before I get started, I want to say thank you to Ryobi for sending me this and the Home Depot Perspective for sponsoring this video. And uh, let's get started. So you saw me just make that little shelf that is mounted underneath the table saw and what I've done is just clamp everything into place where the top of the saw is exactly flush with the top of the workbench. And I've just added some uh, aluminum spacers here to allow enough room for the uh, rip fence to be able to slide back and forth. So what I'm gonna do now is just figure out where my hinges are gonna go and then I will mount those underneath to where the shelf will fold down. And then I'm gonna come up with some sort of locking legs that uh, slide on the inside of the steel legs and kind of lock into a little notch. And that is pretty much it. And then I'll uh, finish all this with some poly and uh, show it uh, in action.
All right, well at this point, I think I'm gonna call this little side project for the Ron Polk inspired workbench. Officially finished. I think it turned out pretty well. Perhaps a little bit of overkill with my aluminum legs and the tracks that they run in, but I don't know, I just like uh, little things like that. And then the little barrel uh, locks work very well to keep this uh, very sturdy in case it was to be lifted up or pushed down. And basically just keep the legs in place. And I think what I'll do now is just uh, cut some wood, show it in action. But one thing I did want to point out, you saw those clips at the end. I cut a little hole here for an eventual dust control system. When I am out here, I probably won't hook it up, but when I have it in my garage, I will hook vacuum hose onto it and do that to try to minimize the dust just a little bit. Alright guys, well I think that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As I always like to say, I hope it was interesting, but even if it wasn't interesting, at the very least, perhaps it gave you an idea on a project you might be working on for yourself. Whether it is a shop project like this, or something in your garden, or vehicle, I don't know. I love DIY projects, and that's one of the reasons why I like to make these videos, because I like to work on things that interest me. But at the same time, I hope when I'm working on these projects that perhaps something I'm doing will inspire you to learn a new skill um, and just become an overall more capable person in your life, whatever you're doing. So uh, I think I'm just going to end it here. Just a nice short project. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Hit the subscribe button for more similar content. And uh, I will see you on the next one.